So our local hospitals were already facing severe shortages when it comes to the blood supply they need to treat people and the severe weather we just experienced added another challenge. Chelsea Smith from the Community Blood Center joins us live with an update as we're closing in on the end of a critical month for blood donations. So good morning, Chelsea. Thank you for joining us. Let's touch base on how the region's blood supply is doing with the recent weather that we've had. Yeah, thanks for having me. First of all, um, last week was a really difficult week for us. I'm sure it was difficult for everybody, but unfortunately when the weather uh, drops and gets a little more severe, our donations drop as well. So at the beginning of last week, it was very difficult for us to collect blood. It was very difficult for us to get out to blood drives. It was difficult for donors to get to us. And because of that, it put us at even more of a disadvantage than we already were. So we are hoping that the good weather this week is going to help us bounce back. Absolutely. When you talk about that, by the way, it's, it's hard to get there. And also, you know, there are more car accidents, which means that you could meet even more blood. So let's talk about that. What is the importance of donating blood, especially after a year like we've had in 2020? Yeah, absolutely. So donating blood has uh, has been something that's been on the decline actually in recent years. Prior to 2020, we saw a declining donor base in our region. And so that presented challenges for us in terms of being able to collect in full capacity and support our hospitals. And then you add seasonal challenges such as, you know, February's winter weather mm -hmm. or um, the summer when people are, are away on holiday. Uh, those are challenges as well. And then you add COVID on top of that. And it was a perfect storm. 2020 was very difficult for us in terms of blood collection. And what that means is that if we're not able to sustain that seven day supply of blood products that we need to supply our hospitals, if there are a lot of car accidents on a day like Monday or, or last Tuesday, um, that, that presents challenges for our emergency rooms who are already strained for, for blood products when our supply is short. So we are definitely uh, looking a little depleted in our blood supply this week, especially after last week, and are needing extra donors to be able to sustain needs throughout our region this week. And if people in Kansas City or surrounding areas want to step up, where can donors go to sign up? Yeah, we, we encourage you to go to savealifenow.org. We do strongly recommend appointments so that we can maintain safe and controlled environments in our donor centers for our donors um, to maintain social distancing, things like that. Uh, online, you can search via your zip code and it'll pull up a whole list of donor center locations and blood drives near you where you can go and make an appointment uh, to donate and help us replenish that blood supply. Of course, and you can make a difference today. Thank you for your time, Chelsea. Yeah, thanks for having me. Now, we do encourage you to make an appointment and to donate blood. If you can, just go to savealifenow.org for information on where you can donate. You can also call 816-753-4040.